Game number three now between Gustin 5 and Fusion. And we're here of all places on the battlefield of eternity. Now both teams fighting for their tournament survival. Whoever doesn't win this one is going to finish up fourth starving. Indeed. And no team wants that. They've been fighting for weeks and they've been scrimming against each other. They want to win. So on the left hand side, once again, we got Gustin 5. And on to, in Gustin 5, sorry, we have KVA playing Tyrael, Kruven on Uther, and Nagon on Falstad, Arcana on the Butcher. And John on Thrall. Yeah, and on the right-hand side, it's Demise on Sonya now. Lahal playing Li Ming, Ai Wei on Greymane, Stoosh on Rhaegar, and Moops on Diablo. Yeah, the two Ryman lads there, so for Team Fusion. So we're going to be seeing a lot at the start here. Of course, this is ANZ, so we're going to see tussles at the start. That We do see most of the players from this Fusion. This is something I want to touch upon, Starving. When do we ever see protection yeah. in death? Why is KVA picking this up, do you think? Well, I mean, he could be going for, like, you know, as Tyrael, we all know Tyrael can go in there just silly and maybe just trying to get a bit more worth off that suicide. But, I mean, he's probably going to be playing very dive heavy. I'm assuming he'd probably want to be picking up that sanctification as well. I feel as if he just wants to dive in, jump, yeah. kill, and, um, you know, when he's got the Thrall and uh, Butcher in support, yeah. he says, just keep fighting with me because as soon as I die, I want to do damage, but I also shield you. So yeah. let's just punch on and have no fear whatsoever. And, I mean, they've got themselves at Uther as well, so I guess it's not a bad bad pickup in that regard, Skimmy. So we do see a couple of players from Gustin 5. You know, they're hanging around the mid, but they are going to rotate back down. Now uh, here comes Tyrell coming with the that falling That charge sword. has gone onto Moot, Starving. Yeah, and a big stun following up Arcana. Try and punch out as much damage as they can, but look at their team comp. Four bruises, essentially, um, going against them. They're going to be rotating. Of course, Anagon. I believe he would be the best one to have in the top lane. Wouldn't you say, Skimmy? I would agree so as well, because this comp's really looking just to punch on, like you said. And I like to call them the old uh, immunity lineup, if you will. Mm. Not picked up by Team Immunity, but they're going to be immune a lot of the time. Their mm. Divine Shield, Sanctification, and the Shield to top it off. Uh, they also a great pick up to round things off because if they don't find the fight that's uh, desirable, Guts. they just gust away. And of course, Gust and Five, you can't pick up, uh, well, you can't not pick up Falsad. It's a crutch to five. their team, they yeah. need it. Exactly. But here we go. The first battle of the Field of Eternity, or what not, is going to start. And uh, they are going to be posturing around the Gustin 5 uh, enemies one. So, you know, they're looking to defend this. A bit of a fight breaking out. KVA going on to Demise. The spin being used by Sonya, dodging those stuns very, very nicely. And a stun coming out from Kruven and a nice Holy Radiance to top them off there. But, you know what? Uh, I think, you know, they will be in an easier situation here. Gustin 5 probably going to be able to defend this pretty easily. Charge coming out onto IY here. A lot of damage going to be pumped out. Stun coming out. Yeah. You are certainly dead. And that is a dual combo fight. I was just going to compliment Fusion and how well they um, sort of separated up. Gustin 5, they had Frawl in the bot side and they had the KVA in top, but, mm. you know, Iway just getting a little bit too amped up. They're mm. a bit too aggressive, jumps in and, um, you know, pays the price as he gets absolutely jumped upon. Yeah, it's not a comp you want to be going up against, Skimmy, is it? So they're just a couple of bruises and they're just going to punch on if they get any sniff or any scent of you there. And uh, stun's coming out from the Immortal there, so nice dodge by John there. He probably would have died if he did get stunned. That is awareness. If you've ever played WoW, you've probably uh, done a couple of raids. That's probably what that, where they got these skills from, I'd say. <laughs> I'd say so indeed. And dodge the fire. You've got to dodge those fires. You've got to make sure that you don't stand in it because yeah. you don't get the achievement and you'll never get invited to a Group. Yeah, and you'll get kicked from your guild, most likely. I don't have any experience in that, and not something I want to touch on anyway, but here we go. The Immortals. <laughs> Very salty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> salty indeed. But, but it does look as if, um, you know, Gustin 5 pick it up. They get the very first mm. uh, Immortal to start things off. A nice healthy shield as well, about a third total. Do you think that we could kind of see that coming though? I mean, if we look at their comp, they're very well rounded at the start of the game. Very forgiving team comp. Do you think there was much chance that Fusion were even going to get that first Immortal? Uh, potentially, but you know, their comp is a lot more predictable to work around. Um, Greyman's going to be very scared to jump in, and when he does jump in, without the right talents behind him, he's just going to die as you saw. Exactly. And, and Leeming's just going to be sitting at the back trying to get as much poke damage that she can to really allow them to force an engagement starting. Falstead doing a good thing as well up here, Skimmy, while he's just, while the team is going up against the Immortal, he's getting that soak, continuing the soak, and now a two level advantage ensues, but look at this, a bit of an engage, and Demise is actually coming in the back line there, are they going to go for this? Yes indeed, John's being pulled over, overpower is being used on him already, so that's on cooldown, Thrall is out of the mix, 
but they don't need any more picks for this. So I like that. They didn't go too deep like Gustin 5 have been, and we have been seeing them do a bit of risky plays. They got their kill, they took out the Immortal, they said that's enough. Now they're going to go get it easy. Yes, I mean, that's another way that you can sort of find yourself getting these windows of opportunity is, you know, if, if the Fausta doesn't actually respond to the roaming Sonya, then, um, you know, you force those 5v4 engagements and you're going to win. So, Frail just a little bit overextended there. They get the pick off into him. It's not detrimental at this stage, but it's enough to force them to back out. And now they just swap out the mercenaries before the next uh, Immortals spawn. I actually thought Custom 5 went a bit deep there with that Immortal. Like, they were right pressed up against yeah. the building, and uh, as soon as you saw Sonya come in, Skimmy, it was very hard for them to just simply disengage from that. So, I really like the play by Fusion. They sent Sonya down, you know, stop soaking, get down here, and he's like, oh, but I want to soak. But no, oh, look at this nice follow up indeed. This is what we're talking about, it Skimmy. It is, exactly. You know, you want to soak, but you also want to try and get some um, you know, kills. But, you know, Greymane, very susceptible to that charge. Yeah. Uh, Butcher is just going to find you. He's going to absolutely fiend. Yeah. And just uh, run at you. Exactly. So a bit of a level advantage here, I guess you could say, for Gustin 5. They're probably feeling pretty comfortable at this point, punching on on that fort in the bot lane. Bit of a hard camp at the top lane, but this is going to make their job a whole lot easier, Skinny. What do you think they're going to do with this advantage? Well, they've got the advantage as a result by pushing in the bot lane, but they're also... Oh, actually, don't touch the tower there. That's a bit of a misplay. Mm. Um, but they have... have uh, Fausted still pushing the top, so they've got the uh, global pressure and it's showing dividends because they got the XP lead now. Moop's trying to solo this, bizarrely. Not too sure why he's onto that one, but he's had to back out. He's got Demise and support, but he's given enough time, because he was too slow to do that, for an Eagle just to walk on in and say thanks yeah, for the thank uh, camp. Yeah, exactly. So that's quite nice. I don't think Diablo should have started there, especially not knowing where the other players of Gustin 5 were. Like you said, Skimmy, it did just allow them to pick that up. But here comes the next Immortal. So what do you think we're going to see here? Well, I feel as if once again, we're going to see Gustin 5 just go absolutely hand. They're going to charge into a target like you see right. here. Just kill somebody out of the fight straight away. It's just a death ball comp. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's the bread and butter. We see it so much in the Asian scene because they're so yeah. good at playing material. And, um, there's not really much you can do when five people just absolutely pounce on you. Yeah, oh look at this, another stun beautifully lined up by the body blocking of Arcana there. He tried to get it overpowered, but look at this, IY might even go down as well, but no, KVA and Kruven actually choosing to back out of there and start the Immortal. So the DPS on the Immortal does look like it's going to be Thrall and Falstad for Team Gustin 5. Of course, they are going to be able to deal a lot of damage themselves. I'm not sure if Kruven, I mean, I'm uh, not sure if the lads from uh, Fusion are going to be able to deep set as fast as they certainly can. So the Immortal is going to fall, and I think it's going to be going in for the side of Gustin 5. Yeah, well, I mean, Fusion definitely have a chance in this one, but the uh, positioning has been favorable now for Gustin 5. They've got the advantage. They've started this one off um, before. They've got about 4k uh, health advantage right now. Moops is posturing around, looking to sort of find somebody out of position. He's got the lightning shield on top of him. He's not going to actually find anything, but he gets the flip starving. And here comes a possible fight indeed. Demise hooking onto an egg on the left-hand side of there and actually getting pushed out. Arcana on the left. But uh, indeed, the, the Immortal is below 15% health here, so they probably will be able to get this. It just really depends on how they choose to play it. If they go a bit too aggressive, they might see themselves losing a fight. They go down to tap well. Are they going to go fight, or are they going to try and burn the Immortal? Not a lot of time, but no, they are going to grab that. So very, very nice timing by Gustin 5. They did have the burst damage to follow up there, Skimmy. And what do you think they're going to do here? Yeah, they're going to definitely look to punch on once again. I mean, it's what their comp's all about. You see the charge go in. They're looking to try and take out Sonya. They had to dive a fort to kill, but... They're not going to be that risky just yet, at yeah. least pre-10 anyway. Yeah, I mean, once they get their 10, though, that's going to make things a whole lot harder. I'm not sure what ultimate we're going to see from Arcana, maybe the, the Ring of Death. What, did you th what do you think about it? I definitely that? think it's going to be Lamb to Slaughter, uh, especially with the new changes that silence his member, but it also just drags somebody back, so you try yeah. and run away, where well, you're absolutely peeled. Yeah, you're not getting out of there, are you, Skimmy? So, the, and like I said, the punch-on comp, you know, you, you sit someone down, and then you sit them down even further and get them on their back side, I guess you could say. So, uh, Demise, you know, he's at the front line, trying to do a bit of damage this Arcana, Orbs Look at this really so putting in once again. Okay, now the Fausta comes. And I was just going to say it's going to be a repeat of what happened in the bot lane with the Immortal, but yeah. this time Fausta does rotate up and they're going to try and force with the level 10. But you know, it is Lamb to slaughter. Everything else is pretty standard across the board, and rightfully so. Fusion back away because they're not 10, they're a whole level down. Oh, and this is where it gets exciting. It's giving the sanctification being picked up by Tyrael as well. So here we go. We might actually see. No, actually, that's probably a bit of a silly thing for me to say that it does go down the Immortal. You don't want to fight under those tier towers under. Well, no immortal, I guess you could say. So they are going to simply back out and just try and get their advantage even further pushed. Yeah, Moob's being a split push terror, which is interesting, given mm. that uh, Diablo's not really known for his uh, wave clear potential. Mm, of course He's not. Definitely uh, one of the weaker tanks for it. But, you know, it seems to be that Fusion are, um, you know, playing it pretty well right now. They're sort of hiding about. And Gustin oh. 5 are really trying to force something here. They've seen that people are out of position. Demise, yes. please don't face check. He might face check. He's oh, unsure. He's nice. indecisive. And indecisive for a good reason, because... 
get walked into a complete death ball. And that is experience right there. So Lahal actually chucking out the arcane orb and saying, you know what guys, they're right there. Don't move forward. Very nice. And I, I like how Gus and Five are searching for these opportunities. They understand their team comp. Look at this. They're, they're really backing smart. away. I mean, they're in the position there to look for it, but uh, Gus and Five actually split their team up and they've called the bait card, really. Yeah, they're going to regret that one, are they, Skimmy? Especially after seeing three at the bot lane. Well, that's it. So we might actually still find a fight, though, because Moops is coming in. Stoosh is running in as well. And hopefully, Sawa kind of backs out. So a little yeah. bit greedy to try and pick up two camps at once, but if it had paid off, then. Yeah, it would have been uh, huge. It would have been huge, exactly. Yeah, well, uh, we do see the three members of the bot lane for Gustin 5, so they're going to have to decide here. Are we going to rotate up and assist the rest of our team, or are we going to push the bot lane? So I definitely think the smart decision here is for them to run up. But look, they're actually converging around this hard camp, so that's a that's a new suggestion. It wasn't picked up by Starving. Then maybe the analytical mastermind Skimmy would have picked that one up, but I was currently speaking there, so how unfortunate. 26k damage coming yeah. out of Lee Ming. No surprises. Double anything yeah. that um, this combo can do on the left-hand side, but they're not really looking for heaps of individual yeah. damage. They're just looking, looking to try and pull. Find kills, yeah. so you know people definitely tend to be obsessed with the uh, the scoreboard, but it's not about the actual damage. It's about actually if you win the game or not. Yeah, exactly. And it's about how do you you utilize the damage you've done as well. So we can see that custom five they might actually get themselves into another wee tussle here. Arcane, I just told you this someone was trying to mount up, but he did stop that. Don't think it would have resulted in his death. But what can you do? They have Leap and Apox, so mm. they're definitely looking to try and chain CC and yeah. really interrupt before Terra or anybody can get their combos um, off. So I'm interested to see how they decide to pick oh, that Oh, Sundering being used so early now, and that ultimate from Arcana actually missing their stun, and Apop being popped, actually, and Aegon going solo, Gus being popped as well. Are they going to walk away from the spite? Oh, Sanctification being popped a bit too early as well. I think oh, Krugan may actually go down here. Even. They need to be so, so careful. And our Demise actually wow. getting slowed down as well. So that was a bit of a weird fight. What exactly happened there? Well, I'm really surprised of him because it looks so, so favourable for Fusion, you know? Mm. Talents are the same. Um, they got the perfect choke spot because they had the uh, stuns coming out from the Immortal. They had the Apoc in a perfect lineup as well. Um, but nobody really died from that one, so... Oh, sorry to interrupt you there, Skimmy. Demise actually getting Ancestral Healing Guard and Divine Shield being popped onto the Butcher, so he's going to use this time to try and get as much healing as he can. KVA taking the whole grunt of the Force. Massive stuns coming out. IY getting stunned out as well and charged by Arcana, so massive play. Making the best of a bad situation there. And uh, that stun from there, Immortal, couldn't have come at a better time, really. Just completely disengaging uh, Fusion. Yeah, IY um, getting a bit too aggressive there. He tries to win the 1v1 trade, uh, doesn't actually get the kill, and uh, Gustin 5 just rotate to protect their, um, their team member just a little bit better. So Fusion went in position to respond, and as a result, the trade goes favorably for them. And Karen's you know, been having a bit of a rough game. He's got the right idea, but yeah. uh, just doesn't have the team support behind him. Yeah, and I mean, what can you do against such an annoying team comp? Four bruises. The Grey Mane jumps in, and you, you know, if you get switched onto as a Grey Mane by four or three bruises, I guess we should say, you're going to get blown up very quickly unless you get some sort of assistance. So. I can't, we can't really blame him for that one, because he's gone up against the powerhouse there. Yeah, he's actually having a rough time in this game, but he's not out of it. Grammy's still a, a big nuisance, but the stun comes out starving. It's going to be an overlap. It's going to be a kill for sure, but Sundering actually gets interrupted. Ooh. He spins the win. This, uh, it's Lambda Slaughter comes out too. Yeah, Lambda Slaughter being popped. Is he going to go down? Moops will resurrect very, very quick. Oh, actually, no, he won't. He didn't have enough souls there. Leap being used, and oh, is, oh, Kana. Nice Gus coming out as well. Sword being dropped down by KVA. The damage is real. IY might actually go down as well. But no, they don't quite have the follow-up. Very, very nice combo. And of course, the Lord of Terror is still respawning, not having the souls to come back right away. Yeah, I mean, it's still in this game right now. They found the engagement. They found it from the start. They're just playing it to a T. And, you know, Fusion, I say that they've had the right idea in a lot of these circumstances, but it just hasn't fully capitalized itself. They've um, been very close to it, but... You know, right now, the keep that's taken in the bottom lane, the Immortal is actually punching onto the top lane. It shouldn't actually finish it off in its zone. It's going to drop it to about half, I'd say. Uh, it's whether or not Gustin 5 decide to rotate up and take it themselves. Looks like uh, they're actually going to be opting to go into the jungle, I guess you could say, or into the thicket of the Fog of War. So they are going to be backing out there, regrouping, recouping, and uh, trying to cooperate with each other there so that they can end this game. So they have got quite a sizable advantage in terms of XP. Skimmy, what do you think they're going to try and do with that, just looking at the map? Same old as they've been doing all game starving. Definitely looking to force some aggression out. Uh, level 16 is obviously a level away from them. Ooh. The Gus comes out. That's actually a really yeah, good Gus. I like that. How do they know? How do they know? That's a sixth sense. I mean, yeah. somebody's got map packs there for sure. Yeah, someone's got map packs. I'm calling it right now. The BM is massive. KVA coming in here trying to maybe pick someone out, but doesn't quite work in their favor there. 
Kevye is so so tanky with the talents he's chosen to pick up there, and uh, they have the they well they have all the ultimates up except for Gust here, so they could be really aggressive. Oh, Sonya coming in with a nice stun, a pop being popped as well, and actually a Sundering coming out, disintegrate being popped by I Y. Nice sanctification. The damage is going to go through the roof here Ooh. as they walk in, and oh Sonya, you are in such a bad. Oh, oh my God, the ancestor actually goes off. Stooge is going solo. He goes down eventually, and Arcana and KVA are just running and trying to secure the front wow. lines once again. Demise, you are in a bad position. Charge coming out from Arcana, and what a huge fight's coming. What exactly happened there? Oh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, Demise was so dangerously alive. I think they actually lost um, sight of him, but I mean, one shot. Yeah. All to take from absolutely anybody would have done it. Even Uther just yeah. could have smacked him with his mace, but the insister went off, and I thought that's it. The fight's going to turn in favor of Fusion. Yeah. But they still win it. Yeah, Convince me too. I mean, they've got so much confidence right now, Dustin Five. Yeah, I mean, with the sanctification coming out at that time, it would have been so much stronger if it was at that level 20. Getting but that sanctification that came yeah. out there, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Five man sank. And of course, if, like I was saying, if that was at level 20, would have got that 25% damage increase. And that would have absolutely just murdered Fusion there. So very, very lucky. But they are so far ahead right now, Gustin 5. Gustin 5 in a great situation right now. Actually, only died once this game. So it's mm. a testament to what they've done. I don't think we've actually seen any value come out of the uh, material talent there uh, just yet. So yeah. it's an interesting choice. But I think they're even a bit happier than how they think this one was going to pan out. But two keeps down. Mm. The immortal face is being triggered. They're actually going to back out, go for the tap, which is a smart choice. Yep. And uh, with the 16, I expect them now to force a fight once again. Yeah, a couple of ultimates are starting to come back up now for Gustin 5. So look at this posturing by Demise and stuff. Trying to be so cheeky. They are down a talent tier, though, so I'm not sure about that play. It's, it's interesting how Fusion are actually being the aggressors here. Yeah. Like, they're, they're a talent tier down, and they want to force the fight where it should be definitely Gustin 5. But... Oh, but here we go. The sword has been dropped. Apoc has been popped as well. And here we go. Arcane are already getting dropped out of the fight. So nice and early. Gus being popped as well. Moops may actually go down. But yes, John with the follow through. Able to absolutely follow through there and just melt anyone he finds. Sundering being oh! popped as well. And massive, massive leap by Sonya. Nice sanctification actually dropping out all of those stuns and CC coming out. Demise, you are in such a bad situation here. But I Y. Oh, oh my god, look at that blocking and nice sanctification coming out onto I Y to keep him alive. This might actually spell. Oh, the Dude. shield! Oh, the shield is so good there by KVA. Actually, keeping John just a little bit longer. He might actually run out. Oh, oh. The oh I was dropping the end. But I mean, I'm just going to bring it back to the start of that fight, Starving. Uh, you know, they were split across. Uh, and that's really what kicked the fight off. Butcher was separated from the rest of the team. And I thought, great. Fusion actually fought this fight. They found it well. And, but then it just went south because they just chased on a little bit too long. You know, there are talents here down. I keep talking about this, but there are talents here down. You're not meant to keep chasing. Moops didn't actually get an ancestral. He died for free, and if he had a uh, the fight would have gone in their favour. But I mean, um, it's just a bloodbath, really, and yeah. the material were actually getting a lot of value that time. Alright, here we go. Another fight. No time to breathe around here. Skimmy Moops going down so low. I don't know if he has his 80 souls currently available to him to resurrect there, so might need to be a bit careful. Arcana and Anagon are going to be able to drop this so quickly, and Demise has been seen by Kruven as well, so need to be extra, extra careful here. Don't think he should have gone in there. Shrink Ray being popped as well. Here comes Lee Ming. La Hal, of course, being the player of that. What was that leap? Oh, yeah, that leap, very, very tricky there indeed. Sanctification being popped as well onto four players, dodging all of those stuns as well, so keeping them up that little bit longer. Sundering being popped as well by Thrall and dropping the tank. Here comes Silence of the Lambs, and here we go. Lahal's being chased off by Arcana. Another kill being picked up for Gust and Five, and of course, this might actually spell doom. Yeah, that's for game. Fusion. Yeah, it's definitely game starving. They've got the Immortal pushing in, it's got half a uh, health bar of shields, and they're just going to begin mm. the core uh, siege. But I mean, I really don't understand that Demise play. I mean, he was aggressive, understandably, he had the team coming in, but the leap to just pretty much secure his death when there's no support in range, yeah. uh, you know, it really just secured there. Demise, ironically enough. Yeah, meters demise, I'm afraid. So, I mean, not to take away from the plays, though, it did so good. Custom 5 just, you know, being uh, the experience, well, a couple of teams, or well, a couple of members, I should say, very experienced, but have a quick look at that damage. 75k yeah. damage it just, from the Leeming. Doesn't die mm. once. You're going to be very upset to lose this game. Indeed. Well, big GG's to Gustin 5 managing it to take it 2-1 in a very convincing game there on Battlefield of Eternity. And of course, GG.